We are jamming the van, love music, and we definitely eat food. So we put the two together and voila, band appetit. On this episode, Chef Brad Matthews teaches the goons a thing or two about oysters and steak. Hey guys, Hello. how's it going? This is Chef Brad Matthews. I'm here with the Gooms at Band Appetit. <laughs> Today we are doing barbecued Pacific Gold oysters. We are doing an heirloom tomato salad, hand chopped beef tartare, and we are doing our Kansas City steak from the Kansas City Steak Company with sea urchin flaky sea salt. Much like the band The Gooms, many of the ingredients for today's menu were sourced locally from Los Angeles farmers markets and were the inspiration for today's menu. Free food, we're totally Yeah, we're here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You guys ever shucked oysters before? Not. No. I have. You have? If you've shucked some, maybe you could help me shuck them a little yeah. bit. Yeah, let's yeah, shuck. So you take your knife, find that hinge, and you want to put it right into the hinge. Whoa. Oh, nice. And then we want to do a flip. Okay, it looks beautiful. It just takes a little bit, and then all of a sudden you'll get a rhythm, and it's like it's like playing guitar. I was gonna on say jam in the van. Yeah, right. Okay. Bard major, yeah. so hard. <laughs> I teach guitar lessons too. Right. It's always fun to watch people try to figure that one out. Right. Looks good. Nice job. This is just melted butter with a little bit of garlic. We're gonna add a little bit of beer. We're gonna put this into each oyster, butter and shellfish. It's like a Gibson and Marshall, right? They're just <laughs> kind of made for one another. We're gonna top it off with uh, some breadcrumbs. The thing about grilling oysters that's really nice is that they kind of sit perfectly right on these slats. As you can see, we're getting a little bit of color here on the outside, which is awesome. We're gonna just set these right on here and just give them a minute to cool up. There we go. Wow. Barbecued Pacific Gold Oysters. I don't care if I burn my entire <laughs> It's worth it. Right now. I'll just freaking eat them all. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh, shuck, Cheers. yes. Like Feed each no. other. Right. Oh, oh, nice! Oh. Let's make out. <laughs> the next thing we're going to be jumping into is just going to be heirloom tomato salad. First thing we're going to do though, is part of our salad is going to have some of this beautiful white corn. We're going to season that up with a little bit of butter and a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we're going to hit it on our Traeger. Look at that butter ooze. <laughs> All right, let's pop the Traeger. Popping it. Nice. We can go ahead and put these guys on there. We're going to cheat this. Are we going to throw some butter on yeah. There it is. Hey. While our corn is on the grill, we're going to take some of these cucumbers and we're going to chop these up. Cucumbers are mostly made up of water. And so mm. by adding a little bit of salt to them, we're going to pull out some of that water. They'll hold their texture. They'll be a little bit firmer. And then when we dress our tomato salad, the heirloom tomatoes, I think, the lumpier, the more delicious. I'm just going to kind of cut them around the core into like a nice forkable size. There's already kind of a natural dressing that happens in here. And it's just tomato liquid. We're gonna add a little balsamic vinegar, we're gonna add a little bit of red wine vinegar in the bowl. Cool. Let's check out our corn. All right. So now that our corn is looking good, we're gonna hit it with a little bit more salt. So what got you into music? My dad was a big Doors fan. I think I always tried, sort of gravitated towards like something that I thought sounded a little unique. Mm -hmm. um, like the Doors. All right, so our corn's ready to roll. So we're gonna take a, just a, kind of a heaping mound of these tomatoes. So we're gonna drop a little bit of corn on here like this. We're gonna take some of our beautifully chopped cucumbers, just gonna kind of place them around here. And then a little bit of our goat cheese. And then the last little bit is just some really, really nice opal basil. And that's it. It's a really, really simple end of the summer heirloom tomato salad. Can you get a close up on that? Mm, that's a freak off the leash. <laughs> like the way that the cheese just like sits on top of everything else too, it holds it all together. Yeah. Thank delicious. you. This is Very delicious. delicious. Our next course is going to be something that I really like. Beef tartare with fried oysters. So these are our ribeyes from Kansas City State Company. So we're going to let this come up to a little bit of room temperature. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these awesome cold steel knives that we have and we're going to chop it up. So we're going to get rid of some of these fattier bits right here. Taking like everything off. The thing. We're taking a lot of it off, right? So we're going to start to break this all down as much as we can. we got a lot of Big, big bit. knife. No, oh, this is the knife you have. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Put the knife down and just crack some pepper. Yeah. Cool. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a bunch of herbs into this. So then we're going to add that in our egg. You just want the yolk. All right, and then we're going to add in some cornichons here. These are just chopped cornichons. We're going to add in some whole grain mustard seeds. Mustard and beef just, it just works. We want everything to really kind of get a consistent texture. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add a little olive oil. And I added a little bit of soy sauce. And we're going to put it in the fridge and we're just going to let it cool out while we get the rest of our stuff ready. These are our Pacific Gold Oysters, and what we did is just a basic uh, flour, egg, and breadcrumb mix. So now we're gonna take these guys and we're gonna deep fry them. Victoria makes awesome cast iron. They take the heat. This is uh, vegetable oil. So these guys, we're just gonna kinda drop them in really easy, because if you drop them in too fast, it'll create a big mess. 
that. Yeah, it looks great. awesome. Yeah, just, so now that they're starting to get some good color, mm -hmm. we're gonna pull them out. We'll come back over to our plating zone. And we have our beef tartare mix in the center of each plate. We're gonna add a little lemon zest here just at the end. We're gonna take some of these awesome purple radishes, putting these right down the middle like this. We're gonna take this beautiful Mizuna. So we're gonna hit this with a little bit of lemon juice and we're just gonna kind of set them over our radishes here. We're just okay. gonna take a couple of these specific gold oysters. And we're just gonna pop them on here like this, and that's it. So we have beef tartare with crispy fried Pacific gold oysters. Oh yeah. <laughs> Max, I made this whole thing some crunchy nuts. This is raw meat. Am I gonna fucking die tomorrow? Mom. Oh no. Actually, it's cool. Our last thing, we're gonna cook these beautiful Kansas City steaks from Kansas City Steak Company. You wanna go ahead and give these a salt and pepper? And Let's then flip them over on the other side? All right. Cool. So then we're just gonna hit this with a little bit of oil. Are we flipping it? Yeah, then we'll flip and we'll do the same thing. Then we're gonna come over here to the Traeger. Traeger's already super hot. It's at 451. Just gonna do that. And we're gonna close this guy up. So you have parsley, I have cilantro. We're gonna make a salsa verde. It's mainly gonna be chopped herbs, these garlics, a little bit of lemon zest, and a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. That's delicious. Traeger's really, really hot, and we have our Victoria Cookware cast iron in here, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sear these steaks. Oh yeah, that's the sound. All right, great, so we just pulled our steaks off the Traeger. We're gonna hit them with a little bit more salt and pepper, and then we're gonna give them a slice, and then we're gonna hit them with our sauce and a little bit of our uni. So this is Santa Barbara sea urchin, and then we have these beautiful marigolds. Cool, looks great, and that's it. Kobe, Kansas City Steak from Kansas City Steak Company, Santa Barbara Sea Urchin in Salsa Verde. Great job. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's you. That is cooked delicious. so you perfectly. You were. That's the best steak I've ever had. In my head, I feel all right in my head. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to uh, Band Appetite with the Gooms. I'm Chef Brad Matthews. Band Appetite. Cheers. Band See you soon. Band Appetite. Mmm. Right in my head.